Good morning and welcome to the KTLA 540 News at 11 a.m. I'm Glenn Walker and I'm Samantha Cortese in today for Lou Parker. Authorities have confirmed four separate deadly shootings in the southeast L.A. area are believed to be connected. Two of the victims were found dead near schools, one of them a 14 year old boy. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in Huntington Park with the breaking details about the suspects. Kimberly. Hi, our KTLA desk just confirmed this information with the LA County Sheriff's Department this morning that two suspects have been arrested, believed to be linked to these four homicides. Now, initially they were looking into that possibility. Now they do believe that the four shootings were connected. Now, this is where one of the shootings happened. You can take a look right beside me here in Huntington Park, right outside of a fire station. A person was found shot in front. It happened in the middle of the night Monday. Now, four people were shot and killed in Southeast LA County within the span of a few hours Sunday into Monday morning, including a 14 year old in front of the Ellen Ochoa Learning Center located in the 5000 block of Live Oak Street in Cudahy. A man was found shot to death near the Martha Scusha Primary Center in Bell, and another man was killed in the 1500 block of East Florence Avenue. Investigators are looking into that possibility that the killings were targeted and possibly connected. He came to hang out with some friends and um, I believe he they they went for the wrong guy like they shot him. He was so happy and loving. <laughs> Just help us out like we we really don't have like much money to bury him. Like, we just need help. And take a look at this map, a look at the locations where the shootings happened again in Huntington Park, Bell, Cudahy and the LA area within a span of a few hours. Two of them occurred near schools. Now back here live, LASD homicide is investigating. Still detectives believe there could be a third suspect involved in these shootings. Reporting live here in Huntington Park, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.